I was referred to Dr. Griffiths via Dr. Barkadarian. So I believe it's PNI Institute in Santa Monica. And that's how I came into contact with Dr. Griffiths. I had a acromegaly brain tumor. That's what it was called. Very scared because I was diagnosed in the ER. So for about 40 minutes, we had no idea if the tumor was cancerous or not. So, you know, I I was very, very scared. Then I met with Dr. Barkadarian and he gave me a surgery date right away. But then Dr. Griffiths took me into his office. He did the MRI there and he looked at it and he said, I know exactly what it is. And he explained the procedure, how the tumor was gonna be extracted through my nose. And he told me that I had a deviated septum. And he's like, but it's all gonna be fixed. And there was just something about that conversation with Dr. Griffiths, even though he was busy, but that conversation that I had with him just made me at ease in a sense because he's looking at what's going on and he's explaining to me as he's re reviewing, you know, the imaging that he took. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm where I'm meant to be, you know, because he was just so thorough and so knowledgeable. And I'm, I was just, I was very calm because I knew that it wasn't going to be something rushed, you know? So due to the type of tumor that I had, it was an acromegaly brain tumor. It was secreting the human growth hormone, the insulin-like human growth hormone. So, you know, the tumor itself was pushing hard against the pituitary gland. So once I had the tumor extracted, I actually had to have my pituitary gland cut for it to go back to its normal size. And, you know, once being diagnosed with the tumor, short after I was diagnosed pre-diabetic, I fell into ketoacidosis. So once having ketoacidosis, I was placed on insulin. I was on insulin for about six or seven months. Um, the day before the surgery, I stopped taking insulin. To this day, I have I am not on insulin. My A1 levels at a seven. I don't need, you know, any other thing. My body went back to what it needed to be, you know, and like during the surgery, I had a cerebral spinal fluid leak and that's where Dr. Griffiths came in and he sealed it, he fixed it, he did the packing and everything was done so wonderful. Like I had that fall, you know, like huge trauma to my head, nothing moved, everything was in place and that just means that the surgeon did what he needed to do, you know, he did his job exactly and precise, maybe even better than he should have because I took that hard fall and nothing happened and that just gives me, you know, the comfort to know that as the years progress, I'm going to be okay. You know, I'm going to heal completely and everything's going to go back to how I need it to be. And he's so kind, you know, like he came in and he was touching my face and he recognized, you know, how swollen my face was, how bulging my eyes were, like my nose was taking over almost half my face, like it was just huge. And I look at my nose and I'm just like, that's my nose, you know, and it doesn't look fake, it doesn't look altered, I don't have any scars, it's just normal me. And I know it's still swollen and it's gonna go down a lot and I'm so grateful, like, you know, it was, it was life changing. It, it is, you know, to this day, um, I'll catch myself drinking something and it'll taste completely different from what I remember. And I'm like, why is this? And it's like, well, I had everything fixed, you know, like my nose is up to working how it's supposed to and you know that gives us it aids our other senses like our taste you know it has a lot to do with that and it's just i'm healing still so it's like little by little but i see it like i'll i'll wake up and i'll take a deep breath and it'll be a deep breath like i'll feel it in like in my stomach and i'm like oh my god like was i always supposed to breathe like this like this is normal i'm catholic so I run to Holy Cross because it's a Providence Hospital and the fact that it is a Providence Hospital and the fact that I can use the My Chart app on my phone and if I have a question I can send them a message and they'll read it right away. I can even send them pictures for the app and everything's there and I have yet to encounter someone rude, someone impolite. Everyone's so professional, so very nice, just very down to earth and I'm very grateful for that. Working with Dr. Griffiths, um, also Dr. Doyle, Olivia Doyle. She's wonderful. You know, it's um, it's something so scary when they tell you you have a huge tumor that's taking over, and 
tumor could make you blind. You know, it's, it's something so scary to hear that you have something growing within your body that you cannot stop. And, you know, I, I, I was honestly not scared. Like the day of my surgery, I didn't even see them before surgery. I just saw the anesthesiologist and the nurse, but I knew like Dr. Griffith is gonna work on me. Dr. Barkajarian is gonna work on me. Like I know who these people are and I literally left my life in their hands and, and I cannot be, I can never pay them back for what they have given me, which is my life back. You know, the, the opportunity to heal, the opportunity to see my child grow, to raise her, to live my life. I'm only 31, you know, and it was just, it was just something so, it's something so human and the experience was so human and that's something that I appreciate because Dr. Griffiths is a new, he's a new era of doctors that are human, that care, that sit and listen. I've talked his ear off about how many questions I've had and you know, what is this going to do and the fact that he's so worried about my allergies, you know, it, he's like, he's concerned, like there's something going on there and he's going to be proactive and help me work through it. Like that just goes to show you that that doctor goes above what he's supposed to do because his job is just like okay let's make sure that the nose is healed but no he's like no her allergies are bugging her let's see how we can help her and that just goes to show you that he wants to see me well as a whole not just on what he did then one word humane <laughs> like I i've seen human kindness in so many forms but it's just you know the human kindness and the interaction that you have with the physician, I have never had that before with any other doctor. And I'm very grateful that he listens to me and I'm very grateful that he cares and you know, just, just the humane, the, the kindness, like the care that he shows and everything that he does. I'm just super grateful for that. I can't wait until I'm fully healed and until I can, you know, he told me, he's like, you're going to see, he's like, once you're healed, you're going to take a bite of some food and it's going to taste completely different to what you're used to because your palates are going to change. And I'm just like, okay, I'm ready. You <laughs> know, like I'm, I'm ready to be okay. I'm going to miss him, you know, I'm going to miss him, but that doesn't mean I can't send him cards <laughs> you know, and see how he's doing. I'm just very grateful for the experience that I had. Everyone, the nurses, the doctors, everyone.